banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I'm looking at Match 5, which proves that you can't kill the Intellivision. It just keeps coming back for more. A 2013 release and a great game. Enjoy. Can you match five or more in a row to score big points and save your Intellivision from becoming obsolete because it still has a lot of life left in it? Match 5 is a 2013 release for your Mattel Intellivision. Being played on my Intellivision 2, it's nice to see that Electro Knight does not discriminate like some games did back in the day. But let's talk about what you do here, and admittedly this is not going to be the most exciting video review in the world, because it's a puzzle game, and I usually don't like puzzle games all that much, I'm terrible at them, because I'm an idiot. And I'd rather blow things up or crash cars into things that then blow up and are crushed by robots with lasers and flamethrowers. This game has none of those things. It makes you use your brain, but it's making you use your brain on the Intellivision, and that's cooler than just using your brain. Match 5 is not all that far removed from a lot of the other popular jewel swapping games out there like Bejeweled. It's actually somewhat similar, but different enough to keep it interesting. I actually really like this game. And I love the football and cheering sounds when you get 9 in a row. Big money, big prizes! I should get a VCR for that one. That's... The look of me concentrating. Can you see the smoke coming out of my ears? The squirrels running around in my head are moving double time today. The object of the game is fairly simple, but it's pretty tricky as you might imagine. Each round that goes by delivers three random tiles onto your playfield. And as you've probably noticed, you're scored for the distance that you move each piece around the playing field. So when you start the game, try to move things as far as possible from one side to the other. Then it starts to get crowded and your options become more limited. You scored 10 points for matching 5 and then the points go up depending on how many more pieces you can match from there. All the way up to 88 points for 9. Not sure how they came up with these numbers, but I'll take the 88 when I can get it. Now it seems to me that there's a couple different ways you can play this game. You can try to keep the play field as clear as possible by matching five as many times as you can, or you can try to strategize and line them up into longer rows, which usually backfires, especially when the game starts to introduce new pieces as you continue playing. Depending on what difficulty level you're playing, you start each round with a few bombs that you can use to clear out pieces that are just cluttering the play field. And after a while, it'll start to give you wild cards as well. This is programmed by Dave Ackers, hopefully I pronounced that right, and published by Electronite and ClassicGamePublishers.com, all of whom did a great job. This is going to be a painful ending to a good game. For me, good for me, probably not for somebody else, but... Yeah. <clears throat> not much I can do here. Game over. These people must love 1982 as much as I do because you get a great looking Intellivision box just like the old ones that you can open up, pull out the overlays and put them on your controller, there's a full color instruction manual, and an Intellivision game cartridge that even saves your high scores. Match 5 plays well on the Intellivision, there's not a lot of motion so it's not the kind of game that hurts your thumbs when you're trying to dig them into these side buttons to fire at stuff. It's pretty catchy and definitely worth playing on the Intellivision. In fact, I think it's good enough that it should actually be on other game systems too. Maybe they'll put an M Network cartridge out there for the Atari collectors. Who wants to connect four when you can match five? <laughs>